guys, we have made it to Center Force Clutch. This is Center Force, the uh, official warehouse and their headquarters. So we're gonna get a personal tour. Let's check this out. We're here, oh, here? at Center Force in Arizona. Prescott. 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 But uh, this is Will Beatty uh, with Center you? Force. We would call him Mr. Clutch. And there's a reason behind that because he is Mr. Clutch. He's pretty quick to respond to Sometimes. things. Sometimes. Uh, but also he is behind Center Force 150%. But Will is gonna give us a little tour. Yeah. And so we're gonna give you some behind the scenes of what Center Force is all about. Let's walk around. Super walk excited. Uh, pressure plates, flywheels, everything on the bottom here. We've already machined. You can see some of the flywheels over there. We just got to ship that in on Friday of some more steel. Uh, these are project cars. Um, obviously, David Carroll's car. Over here, this is our new CNC. As you can see, we're doing the flywheels. We'll walk around this way. Okay. Obviously, 11 o'clock at night, we don't run too much. <laughs> uh, but the boys were just running some flywheels. I do know that. This was the newest, latest, greatest. The power. Uh, latest, greatest one. We were turning parts on this on Friday, so this thing is up and running. This is the new baby. Yeah, this is the new one here. This is nice. Look, it does. Still has the plastic on the uh, control yeah. panel. Yeah, well, you know it's. Yeah, we're still cutting it's... jaws uh, for different uh, things right now. So, uh, actually, the, we just were cutting the uh, Evo hat on it. So this is where we do all our mill work. So after the turning's done over there, as you can see, so all these over here are already turned. Different uh, flywheels. We have LS, we have Ford, we have Chrysler. Um, early, early Chevy parts here. And then these guys will take them, put them over here. Be able to see some of the mandrels we have, and that's where all the mill work is done. They'll come through, and they'll once that's done, they'll put all the ARP fasteners and everything in it, and check them out, do its final mics, and, and, and make, sh make sure all the measurements are proper, and then we'll take them all down to the machine shop and the other end. This is so cool. But uh, Will was kind enough to come down here at 11 p.m. at night on a Saturday where he could actually be sitting at home with Mrs. B watching yeah. a movie. Having a cool life. So <coughs> this is a very one-off machine. Actually, it is one machine. And what we do with this one is this is where we do all of our torque testing work. And this is our friction tester. You can see data acquisition up to the laptop. These arms all work together and we actually have heaters in all this. So when we're checking friction, we're actually pulling on the friction until it gives a giveaway. Uh, particularly right now, we're actually set up testing our weights when they break. And these are things we've all made in house. Oh, wow. It's just a heater and we have a gauge right here so we can take it and Heat it up and see what the material does at 50 degrees, 100 degrees, you know, all the way up. So, hmm. Will, like on the dyad clutch system that I have in the Z with uh, about 540 horsepower, but about 620 at the crank, what is the limitation, I guess you could say, of that um, clutch and what kind of heat is it um, able to take? It'll take quite a bit of heat and then it will. It's funny how the friction material works, especially when we're here to test it friction will go up and up and up and test and then it'll actually drop off and come back and then it'll fall back down hmm. uh, as far as heat but about five six hundred degrees is really when things start going down. too hot yeah it's too hot you can see if you look at the color here oh, I see that. we uh, we test them pretty high how big is center force as far as this location do you have multiple locations? So this is it. This is it. Now, how big is this building? This is 46,000. 40. It's 42 <laughs> or 46. <laughs> 42 or 46,000. Okay. And, and then um, what kind of building did uh, Mr. Hayes start out at? We started in Midway City. That's where the parent name Midway Industries come from. Okay. That was um, a very small building. And then it grew to two buildings. And they were written things. And when he decided to retire and the kids took over, is what we need here. That's really cool. This this place is really awesome. If you look up there, some old Borg Warner stuff. Oh, wow. Some original LT1. Really? 1970 in the crate still. Original crate? Mm hmm. Original wow. crate for an original truck. I think that's suiting. I think Danny Pop would be a little jealous right now. 
we're gonna continue the tour of Center Force. Got your and battery now? Will is gonna show us uh, the other half of the building. So this is um, these offices here is our CAD CAD guys. So all the SolidWorks stuff. Bryce and Dustin and that's cool room. Watch this. This oh. is awesome. <laughs> this is where basically everything gets put together, checked. And we are very, very much still hands-on as far as building this. There's not a lot of American companies <clears throat> that are that way. They're it's, automated. We build every machine that we have here. When we start talking disc, oh, we're wow. talking you know, the, the Marcel spring and stuff. So we actually go back through here, got the computers and everything I'll show you. But we actually have a detailed deal where we want to hit these things and when I say hit them that's what that that literally hit them we're actually coming through and changing the amount of bend we have in these now explain to us the difference between a normal clutch and a dyad clutch. dyad is a twin disc okay. uh, basically in the dyad meaning is one entity driven to driving two pieces so that's that's where the dyad name comes from Here's all the rivets we've made for these things. So when we're putting them together, we're literally putting them all together. So we'll make all these different rivets. So after we uh, we actually balance the disc as well. Different different tools for doing different things with all the different discs, you know. So these are all the facings we make. We actually manufacture all the facings here in house. So this is actually one of our organic friction materials here. There's the sheet metal. This is our tape. <clears throat> this is how we start off, excuse me, with the sheet metal. And then they put a, a dip on it as well to make sure that the, the glue will adhere to it when we use the heat. And so normally they would have this all laid out. Obviously, at the end of the week, we, you know, they, they try to clean up a little bit. But we made these also in-house. Same type of heaters you saw over there uh, with the uh, torque tester is what we use here. So this will open up, jack it up. That's a sandwich back down, so we do with the heat and heat pressure. They number run about 350 degrees is what we usually bond at. So this is the guys we laid out, and these are all 11 inch Chevys. So that's as you can see. Is it hugger orange? That is actually manufactured for us, the orange. That is a custom color for us. So that's our ADF machine. Every part goes in and out of that. It actually washes and uh, has a uh, anti-rust inhibitor in it as well. For the week. That is so cool. Just the machine work right here. So they're running right now as twins. So inside of it, inside of the pressure plate itself, when we talk about balls, the clutch with balls, well, we put balls inside of these things. That's where it comes from. <laughs> I ran this for many years. Hmm. That was my video right there. This is a, a Ford triple. This here is an EcoBoost, Ford EcoBoost here. It's a twin. We're doing this one for Juggernaut right now. Um, you can see it. That's all the stuff that's come back from various racers, a lot of Detroit Speed stuff there. Uh, this is where we do a lot of checking with stuff, so we can actually put a clutch up here. This will come down. This is the, the gauge itself. And once we turn it on, we can actually measure. This is our clamp load machine. Again, this is something we made. It's all tied into the computer here, so we can go up with it, down with it, and it gives us the full reading of what it is. Uh, this is finished goods. Wow. When, we, when we can keep stuff on the shelf, these are all flywheels. So yeah, this is kind of it. This is obviously all finished goods here, different gears. Uh, our kits, this is some stuff that's got to fall in order here. Um, those are getting ready to ship out. Uh, private label stuff right there, bearings, just clutches and... Hmm? It goes on. <coughs> it goes on. Um, Center Force candy? Oh, I'll take one. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is, this is good stuff. Oh, you know what? I got it. <laughs> Careful how you say that. <laughs> Center Force actually has their own candy. Yes, we do. Well, thank you, Will, for showing us Center Force and behind the scenes here. It was awesome. Even though it's midnight here in Prescott, Arizona, I'm David Carroll with NorCal Garage. I'm Will Beatty. And this is Will Beatty with Center Force Clutch.